everyone so today's a video I've been planning since I very first started this channel something I'm really excited to do and that is to do one full face of Charlotte Tilbury I've got all my products ready here on this side and one full face of Delilah on this side so I say full face half face so half face of each these are two of my favorite brands so I just can't wait to show you why they work so well for me and if you're new here, hi, my name's Hannah, I'm 47, I'm not a professional, just somebody who absolutely loves makeup and anything to do with beauty. And here on my channel, I, I like to share with you product news, tips, looks, anything I think might interest you. So if you think you might enjoy that, I would love it so much if you liked and subscribed below and hit the notification bell. And also if you could just comment, even just, just to say hello, it really, really helps my channel. Anyway, let's get onto the video. So just a quick reason why I'm doing this. It's because I'm pretty new to makeup in all honesty. I used to wear quite a light coat of exactly the same makeup for years. And it was a few years ago that I started to really get into makeup. And that was actually via Trini London products. I started following the Trini London videos and I bought lots of Trini London makeup and I really enjoyed it. And then because I got a taste for it, I started looking into other brands. And the first two brands that I ended up having a full face of makeup for because I just loved them and kept going back for more were Charlotte Tilbury and Delilah. And now I'm here doing this on my channel and they are still two of my favourite brands. They are one of the only brands, if they release something, I just get it instantly, whether I'm doing it for this channel or whether I'm doing it, doing it purely for myself and my own collection. So I really want to show you why these two work and I've never tried them together obviously this is something completely new and I'm not really putting one up against the other because I know I love them both I just thought it'd be fascinating for me anyway to see how they look together and why maybe I think of them in a quite similar way when I think of these two lines and I'm also delighted to be an ambassador for both of these brands now which has been a complete dream come true my top two brands my first ever full face of makeup brands that I've ever owned and I'm now working for them which is fantastic so I do actually have a discount code for both of them which I'll put below for you so if that's helpful the Delilah code you can use on every single purchase and the Charlotte Tilbury code is a one-off um, discount code anyway let's get on with this so you've never seen me on camera probably without this lip saviour from Delilah because I put it on before I start every single video this is a colour enhancing lip oil something just Delilah has so I'll just put this on first there my lips feel better now I hate having dry lips so it's been hard waiting to apply this <laughs> as I got my video set up but this will enhance the colour of my lips naturally and I use it every single day before I do anything so before I touch my face in any way, I'm going to put some mist on each side and both brands have a lovely mist. In fact, Delilah's only launched last week. So this is Charlotte's Magic Hydrating Mist. So I'm gonna put this on one side here. And this is Delilah's Wake Up Radiant Hydrating Skin and Makeup Mist. Delilah's is slightly more fine and has much more of a scent. It's got orange and rose in it, which is really nice. But both of them contain hyaluronic acid. They're fantastic as a very first step before putting your makeup on to keep your skin hydrated. And both of them can be used throughout the day to top up and refresh your face. And I'm going to put some of Delilah's underwear primer on. This is a sort of primer Charlotte doesn't actually have at the moment. I don't know if she previously did, but it's not something in the last few years I've noticed on her website. So you can see the type of primer this is. This is the sort that really sticks to the skin and helps your makeup to stick to your skin and stay there all day. And it's quite good at blurring out pores. So I use this specifically around the nose, chin and forehead. Now I know out of these Delilah is the lesser known brand and some of you may not have heard of them, but they have won multiple awards. I think this is one of the products that has won awards. So just like with Charlotte Tilbury, I highly recommend checking out everything from Delilah. I honestly do. I love them. And I've got Delilah's Brow Shape Gel here in Ash. And this is a perfect match for my eyebrow colour. I'm just going to brush my brows up. I'm not going to go into great detail about these products because I'm using a million products today. So it would probably be a 10 hour video if I did. If you've got any questions about any of the products I'm using today, then please do message me below and I'll do everything I can to answer you as much as I possibly can. Just putting that into place with a Q-tip. And Charlotte Tilbury's Legendary Brows, and this is in taupe. I see this is ever so slightly darker, this shade. 
They both do exactly the same job to be fair, it's very fine. They don't stick down too hard, just enough. I don't like to do an awful lot to my brows, I like to keep them fairly natural to be honest these days. And now Delilah's brow line in Ash, this has a very fine nib and this is actually one of the only brow products I repurchased and this is my third because this is a perfect match for my colour plus I love the nib. And I have Charlotte's brow cheek and this is in soft taupe. This also has a very fine nib but it's in that sort of triangular shape, I don't know if you can pick that up on camera. This one's actually refillable and this one I've repurchased so again I don't repurchase eyebrow products very often but I've repurchased both of these. So that's my eyebrows done, I don't like to make much of a fuss with my eyebrows these days, like I said I like to keep them fairly natural and I've had a lot of regrowth using a serum so that's it really. And now I'm going to go on to the filter. Now there's two very different products here so I'm not sure how they're going to look side by side but I did want to show you them both and obviously the Hollywood Flawless Filter is extremely famous. So I've got this in shade 1. Rather than applying this all over the face I'm just going to put it to the points where I would like a little bit more of a glow to come through. Now I'm not using brushes from either of these brands today because I don't actually have very many. I've got a couple but I wouldn't be able to do a full face using them so I'm just going to stick to my regular brushes. Now the Flawless Filter gives me a little bit of coverage and it gives me a lovely glow. I shouldn't really have gone down the middle of my nose because now I can't use the Delilah one on the nose. Anyway, that's the glow I'm getting from the Hollywood Filter. Now this is Delilah Pure Light and this comes in two shades and I have the shade Halo. This comes in a pump. Now as with the Hollywood Flawless Filter, this can go all over your face underneath for a glow. You can just put it in certain points and you can add it on top of your makeup when you finish for a highlight. So I'm going to be dabbing this in the places where I just want a bit more glow. As you can see this is a very very different product. This one reminds me more of a sort of um, under bronzer that you can use, like liquid bronzer. But it's not, it's not a bronzer but it reminds me of that a bit, this shade. So that's how my glow is looking using Delilah Pure Light on this side. And now for foundation. This is Charlotte Tilbury's Beautiful Skin and this is in shade 2 Neutral. I'm going to start with just half a pump of each product on, but on each side. See if half is enough. I'm using my BK Beauty 101 on this side. This gives me lovely coverage and it does give quite a nice glow, a natural glow. I do like how lightweight this foundation is. I'm now going in with half a pump of Delilah's Time Frame and this is in Buttermilk, the shade. The one difference with this foundation is it contains SPF 20. And I've got half a pump on, I'm using my Hourglass foundation brush. Now this foundation is a bit thicker than the Beautiful Skin but they both have a very similar finish, quite a radiant, lightweight finish. And they both offer a similar coverage. I think these two foundations are both very, very mature skin friendly as well. They're very flattering on texture, they have a good longevity and I just think the way my skin absorbs this, especially in the difficult areas like the T-zone, is very, very successful with both. I don't tend to get any caking around the nose or chin or anything. I think there's slightly more coverage with beautiful skin, so I'm going to put a tiny bit more Delilah on this side, just here where I want to try and cover up this mark. So there I have half a pump of Beautiful Skin here and half a pump of Time Frame from Delilah here. I couldn't pick between those foundations, I really like them both, they're just so easy to apply and so comfortable. They do last and they're very flattering. And now onto concealer and I've got the Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer from Charlotte Tilbury and I'm using shade 4.5 which is quite a good cor um, colour correcting shade for me on my eye area. This is one of my favourite concealers of all time because it's so friendly on my mature skin. Never ever settles into the fine lines of the corner of my eyes ever, even on bad days. So this is one of my most reliable concealers. And I have Delilah Take Cover Concealer, which is also a radiant concealer. And I've got this one in shade Ivory. 
And you can see this also has a similar colour correcting sort of shade for me because, because it's not completely white. It has that little bit of sort of yellow orange in it which really helps with colour correction for me. And I find that just like the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Concealer, this one does apply like, sorry my dogs are barking. <laughs> This one does apply like um, a serum, they're both very like, much like a serum, very very lightweight and very flattering on fine lines. So I hope you can see the finish I get with this concealer, particularly here in this trouble spot because this is where concealer collects and looks bad for me with most concealers and with both of these I'm getting the same coverage, no settling into these lines here at all, it's really really very good. They're so similar. I really like both of these. One thing Delilah doesn't have at the moment is contour. So I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. This is a very messy tube. It's coming to the end and I do have a backup ready because like I said, I love these products. So this is one of the things I always keep a backup for too. I don't know if Delilah has any contour products due out, but if they do, I will definitely be testing them. Just look how quickly this blends out. Absolutely fabulous. I've got three contour products that sit on my desk and never leave my desk. And I rotate the three and this is one of them. The other two are the Westman Atelier in Biscuit and Victoria Beckham's Contour Stylus in Marble, I think. Yeah, Marble. I don't have a lighter shade of concealer for Delilah, so I'm going to use the Beautiful Skin in shade Too Fair, just to brighten now some of these areas. Now I'm going to go in with setting powder and for the Charlotte Tilbury side I've got the Flawless Finish Airbrush Powder here and this is in shade 1. So I'm going to go in with my powder puff with this through under my eye. In all honesty I don't normally use this under the eye, I do prefer to use loose powders to set here but I want to keep this as much one brand each side as I can. It's done a reasonable job, but I do think it settles into lines a little bit. I just don't think it's the best thing to use under the eye, in all honesty. But Charlotte does have um, the same sort of setting powder in a bright white, which I do actually find a lot better under my eye. I didn't want to use that today because there would have been too much of a difference in colour between that and the Delilah. But the airbrush setting powder really does airbrush your face. Look at that. Fantastic. So I'll be using the Delilah Pure Touch Powder. Now it looks a complete mess because I've managed to tip it this morning, so that's my fault, but it comes with one of these like nets in the centre. So you can just push your puff down onto that to get the powder onto your puff. But if I push into there right now, I'm going to get enough powder to sink a ship. So <laughs> I'm just putting a tiny bit on my puff. I'm going to go under the eye. This straight away does work better. I think loose powders always do with me. You see the difference between the way the powder is settled on that side. I don't know if you can see. And then with Delilah how it hasn't. Just because loose powders on my mature skin are so much better under the eye. And this setting powder is fantastic. I really like it. I think it gives a very natural finish. And it really doesn't cake up at all and you don't see it on your skin. I think the Charlotte one gives me a more airbrushed finish. But I can see the powder collecting in my lines. Whereas with this one, I can't, and that's because I just prefer, I don't like saying I prefer one or the other, like I said, that's not how this video is supposed to work today, because I love both. But now, as my skin's getting older, I do prefer loose powders, and the Delilah one is fantastic. It's one of the best powders. I mean, I love my Givenchy Prism Libra, I use it all the time, but this one, I've only actually recently got this, and it really is beautiful. I hope you can see the finish I'm getting from that. Can you see as well, I probably should have mentioned earlier, just how much more red and natural, naturally pink and plumped my lips look from the Lip Saviour from Delilah. This, I, every single day of the year I use that, I love it. Now the Charlotte Tilbury range for powder products is huge, so I've just tried to go for the ones that I think are a good match colour-wise for my Delilah ones. So I've got my Delilah in Light Medium Sunset here, this is the bronzer. And here is Charlotte Tilbury's Filmstar Bronze and Glow, and this is in Light Medium. Be interesting to see how they compare in application. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury side. 
This is actually a bronzer that I got out a few months, months ago and kept out and just kept using all the time. I think especially in winter with my winter um, skin. I think it's the perfect shade and I love the finish on it. I do need to build this one up because it is very pale but that's fine by me. It's a very effortless bronzer to use. It's never patchy. Very natural finish and I love the finish on it. So there we go, that's the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I'm just going to clean this brush off and use the same brush because I love this brush. So now I'm going into the Delilah bronzer. This immediately has a lot more pigment if you can see. So I won't be needing to build this one up. But it does blend out very, very easily and very quickly, look. So there's the two bronzers. And I do feel like I've had a more of a smooth finish here with the Delilah and I do think that's to do with the setting powder underneath to be honest. Because the Charlotte one I know is one of my best, best bronzers. And I think maybe, maybe I just have to use loose powders these days. But anyway, the finish is extremely close, they're both lovely. So now on to blushes, I'll be using powder blushes even though both of these brands have lovely liquid blushes. I've tried to match up colours here, so to do this I've got loads of Charlotte Tilbury blushes and this is actually coming from a face palette because this is a perfect match here, I think, for this Delilah blush. So this face palette here from Charlotte Tilbury is called Instant Look in a Palette Sunset Dreamscape and the cheek shade here is the pop shade, whereas this one is the swish. So I'm going to go straight in with the pop and just be a bit careful, because if you know the swish and pop Obviously you do the swish up your face and then do a little pop of more intense colour. So I'm expecting a bit of intense pigment when I apply this on its own. So here's the Charlotte Tilbury blush. It's actually a lovely shade and it's, it's not too bad at all. It's not coming out too pigmented as in uncontrollable pigment. It's just right for me actually. I love that actually. It's, it's like the perfect shade of blush for me. I really like it. I'm actually going to brush off this brush and use exactly the same one because I think if I use a different type of brush I've gone for this tiny one to get into the face palette but I think if I use a different brush I might get a different application so I'd like them to be really similar so I'm going in with the Delilah and this is in the shade Dusk that is so pretty and just see the way these powders work. You see how you can see why I fell in love with these two brands together, can't you? Because firstly, I was a very much a beginner, so you need ones that are just easy and user friendly. And just look how user friendly these are. They just blend in so naturally, and you can't really go wrong. They're sort of mistake proof, and they're just beautiful and quite natural finish. And now for highlighter, well Charlotte Tilbury is pretty famous for these and this is one of her fairly new ones, the Hollywood Glow Glide Face Architect Highlighter in Champagne Glow, that's a long title. Now this is pretty impactful, this highlighter, and absolutely beautiful, I love it. I'm not sure how I'm going to do the bridge of the nose, to keep this fair, can I go half and half? Oh, so pretty isn't it, look at that love this highlighter. I think what I'll do is I'll just put some there, just highlighting the bottom part of my nose. I don't think I can split it for the cupid's bow so I just have to go with Charlotte for the cupid's bow. I'm um, from Delilah, this is actually called a brightening powder and it's in shade Aura and here it is. It'll be interesting to see how these look together because I think they're very different products to be honest. I don't think it's going to have that massive shine that you get from Charlotte. Oh, wait a minute. This one's a little bit more golden. Yeah, it does have a big shine actually, I forgot. And the tiniest bit on the bridge of the nose, but I think it's a little bit too golden for that one to be honest. It's got an incredible shine on it actually. I think I put too much on. I'm just going to pat a little bit of powder on. To be fair, the, the actual compact was a little bit loose when I opened it, so I think I got too much on the brush, but that's how it looks when it's not applied quite so heavily. It's very pretty, but very different, so I do, do now have slightly different cheeks. <laughs> so there's my full base now, so my Charlotte Tilbury base. 
and my Delilah base. So now moving on to eyeshadow. So I've gone through all my Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows because I've got loads of these to try to find one of her um, eyeshadow palettes or quads that actually matched with these colours. So I found three shades that I think match up, so I'm going to use exactly those three shades from both. So I've got here the Charlotte Tilbury Luxury Palette. This is the Bella Sophia. And the colours I'll be using today from this are these three here. And this from Delilah is called Damsel. And the shades I'll be using from this is this one here, this one here, and this one here. So I'm going to use exactly the same brush. I'm just going to brush off on my brush pad in between and basically apply one after the other so you can see the two together. So starting with the lighter shade in the Charlotte Tilbury palette, I'm just taking a little bit here. And this gives a tiny bit of colour and it does have a bit of shimmer. I do like to bring brightness to this area these days and not put dark colours there. Now going in with the Delilah. So both of these have a very similar shade and a very similar shimmer finish. Just giving me that little pop of brightness and a little bit of colour and sparkle to start the look. Now going in with a deeper shade of brown from the Charlotte Tilbury Quad. Taking this under my eye, bringing it up and over. And doing the same with the Delilah shade. And the formulas in both of these eyeshadows are extremely user-friendly. You just can't really go wrong. They just, they're just they not too pigmented, but when they do have pigment, they're so easy to blend. So they're just very, very easy, both of them. Again, that's why I love them. Just building up a little bit more of the deeper colour into the outer V and meeting up here with the lighter shade I started with. I'll do the same on both sides with both deeper shades. So easy. And now for the shimmer shade, so going into the Charlotte Tilbury quad and taking this across the whole of my lid. How beautiful is this shade? And then the Delilah, which is definitely not the same shade. Now I'm trying it on my eyelid, but it did look similar when I swatched it on my hand. So that's my mistake. I think I'll know what I'll do. I'm going to take the Delilah one and I'm going to take it into my very inner corner. So now we're slightly messing up with the one side, two side plan, but anyway. I don't want to look totally different. So I'm going to mix them. So we've got the Delilah Gold starting in the inner corner here. And then I'm going to bring the Charlotte Tilbury one across here. Try and make them look a bit more similar. So now I've got a bit of a medley of the two, because that was the only way to make that work, which is my mistake. So we have the Delilah Gold and the Charlotte Tilbury more bronzy brown shimmer. They look nice together actually, don't they? So now I'm going to go in with eyeliner and I've got the Rock and Coal from Charlotte Tilbury. And this is in the shade Barbarella Brown. These eyeliners are very creamy and very easy to work with. I love this shade Barbarella Brown. It's pretty multifunctional in the fact that I can... Not multifunctional, that's the wrong word. It's universal. It goes with so many different eye looks. And it smudges out so easily. Very, very easy to work with. There's no drag. Very, very mature eye skin friendly. And this is the Delilah one in Twig. The difference between these two is this one is a twist up, whereas the Charlotte Tilbury one you sharpen. It's got a very fine nib, which is very good for precision. It's also very creamy like Charlotte Tilbury, so it's very user friendly. With the nib being so small, you can be a lot more precise, like I said. So, I think the Charlotte one, I do tend to get more of a smudged out effect, whatever. Whereas with this one, it's up to me whether I want to smudge it out because I can make it very precise and very neat. Obviously, I can sharpen up the Charlotte Tilbury one to be a very, very small nib as well. So, to be fair, they work exactly the same way. I'm just going to take this underneath the line under. A little bit. 
I'm actually going to use this on both sides because it's hard to do with the Charlotte one at the moment because it's not a very fine nail. I'm going to run a tiny bit of this gold underneath here. And because the highlighter from Delilah was a bit too gold, I'm going to just use the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter for this. I'm cheating again because it's not completely one-sided, but I'm just using this for a pop of light here and underneath the brow. And now I'll quickly curl my lashes so we can get mascara on. So I'm going to start with the Charlotte Tilbury push-up lashes. Now I know this is one of the best-selling favourite uh, mascaras out there. But what I do have to say is it's one that, even though I think it looks beautiful on me, it gives me the sort of length and separation which I personally look for. I don't like one that makes my lashes really full or heavy. I'm only ever really looking for length with mascara from my point of view. I don't want them to be really full. But the problem I do have with this mascara is that it does always transfer into the eyes for me. It is better, if, obviously, if it's powdered beneath. But I do tend to get a bit of transfer, which is a shame because I know so many people who don't. I don't know why I do. But I do. If you don't know the wand on this, you can see it's a very wide wand, so you need to be careful not to stab yourself in the eye. So that's just one coat of that mascara. So don't be put off by what I said because it seems to work for most people. And you can see it's got a beautiful finish. And this is Delilah Intense Day to Night, and I don't have any issues with this one smudging, luckily. This one has a more typical wand. Now this one does not give me the volume that the Charlotte Tilbury one did, because when I said it just lengthens, obviously it does give you a lot more volume than this one. This is the sort of separation and length that I personally love. I just think it looks more natural. I think that's more impactful, maybe for a night out. This for me is a bit more of a natural finish. It reminds me a lot of the um, the new Lisa Aldridge mascara. It's a lovely mascara, this one actually. I know I'm not supposed to have a preference. But when it comes to mascara, I definitely, definitely prefer this one. So yeah, you can really see the difference between those two, can't you? So that's down to preference. I think they both work very, very well doing exactly what they're supposed to do, what they promised to do. I definitely prefer the Delilah one on this occasion. So we finally made it to lips. I'm getting to the end of this video, which has been such a long one. So I hope if you're still here, thank you for sticking with me. So I'm going to do half and half. I don't know how this will work out. I'm trying to get these colours to match. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the shade Icon Baby. This is one of her new shades. I really like this one. I think it's a very natural, neutral lip really, so you don't see it. It's your lips but better and it's a perfect match for mine. And I have the Delilah lip liner in Naked. Now this is a roll up, not a sharpen. You can see the nib, it's got quite a fine nib. You can see this is definitely a very, very close match. Yeah, virtually the same. Both of these liners have longevity and the colour is extremely similar. So I And they're very creamy, very comfortable on the lips. So I don't really have a preference at all here. I think it's down to whether you want to sharpen or whether you want to turn up. They're both very good. So for lipsticks, I've tried to find two again that match. So the Charlotte Tilbury one, I'm not going to say out loud in case YouTube doesn't like it. So this is B-I-T-C-H, please. And here is the shade. This is one of Charlotte's matte lipsticks. Now I've kept underneath here the Lip Saviour, which I put on at the beginning. But it's been nearly an hour now, and it's worth saying, one of the other reasons I love this is not just because it hydrates my lips and gives it that little bit of colour, but also because when I do apply a matte lipstick, I find they apply much better without the lines showing up as much and also being more comfortable. So it's almost like having a sort of lip gloss from underneath, not gloss, oil, lip oil, but 
yeah I really enjoy having it underneath and by now by the because it's at the end of my makeup it's just the right amount of product on my lips to work for this so that's half my lips done with Charlotte Tilbury and now I'm going in with Delilah and this is in the shade Flirt you can see these are quite similar so I'm hoping they're not going to look terribly different together the Delilah is slightly less pigmented and a bit more creamy. Built Up it gave the same amount of colour and I'm quite impressed with myself choosing these two lipsticks because they do match, don't they? And how can you choose between them? I don't think you can choose between them. They're both extremely comfortable. Delilah is just slightly more creamy, it just feels a tiny bit more hydrating than yeah, definitely more hydrating and creamy. But I think the Charlotte's has a little bit more longevity. So swings and roundabouts what you prefer, but both very nice lipsticks. And then the final step, should you need it, I don't really think I do to be honest, but anyway, lip gloss, I'm going to do it anyway. I've got the Charlotte Tilbury in Pillow Talk. Now these might not be a colour match to be fair, but they're quite light, so I don't think I'll make a terrible difference. This is actually their lip bath. As I'm putting it on now, I'm realising this is their collagen lip bath in Pillow Talk. It's not lip gloss, sorry. This one has that sort of minty, plumping feel and effect. And then I've got the Delilah lip gloss, so I've confused this a tad because I've got a lip oil on the left and I'm putting a lip gloss on the right, so I don't know what's going to happen here. But this is Dual. Not actually that different, is it? The Delilah lip gloss doesn't have the tingling effect that you get with the Charlotte Tilbury, but I think the finish is very similar. But that was a bit of a strange comparison, so maybe ignore that one. But the finish is very nice. Definitely getting more hydration from the Charlotte Tilbury, though I can really feel that. So that's made up for the fact the lipstick's a little bit drier. So then together my lips feel really hydrated. Now I could finish this off possibly with a bit of face mist because I have used a lot of powders. So rather than using a setting spray, I think I'll be kind to my skin. I'll go in with a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury on one side and the Delilah. You can see that smell, it's so good. <laughs> Both just give that instant boost of hydration. And I have used a lot of powders and I do have mature skin so having that little bit of hydration it's really good at keeping my makeup going all day. So it's not a setting spray, but it's just keeping that hydration, which really does help the makeup to, to last. So that's it from me. I have my full face of both my favourite brands completed. I can't pick a favourite, I just love them both. And if maybe Delilah is new to you, then I really hope you've enjoyed having this brand introduced to you because I adore this brand. I came across them pretty much because I went fully vegan a few years ago. I've got to admit I'm a bit half vegan now. But I was attracted to the brand because they are 100% vegan and they always have been from day one. So I was drawn in. I think my searches for veganism and vegan foods probably made them a suggestion on my page and I have never regretted it. I love everything they release. And obviously with Charlotte Tilbury, I'm always excited with every single release from Charlotte and so rarely disappointed. All of her makeup and Delilah's tends to work so well on my mature skin and they just, they're very easy. I very rarely have a disaster or problems. Everything's just very easy, very user friendly and just a lovely, lovely flattering finish. So if you use either of these brands and you've got favourite products or products that you're thinking of buying, I'd love to hear from you down below. I do love to chat with you all. And if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe below. It really does help and I'd love to have you back for my next video. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for returning. I really do appreciate you all. And I hope to see all of you for my next video soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.